everyone, or should I say good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are when you're watching this. Today's video is going to be a little different, more like my old videos with a lot less chatter, mainly because after I filmed everything I realised the audio didn't record, but nonetheless I was still able to make this video, so this is us flying from Gamston to Leicester for their stall fest. If you would like to see our journey, carry on watching, however, if you wish to see the military setup or the aeroplanes at Leicester, feel free to skip ahead to the end sections of this video. See you in the air! Clear pro! Once we got settled, my dad started pointing out all the sites. He's way more knowledgeable than me when it comes to towns, cities and airfields. I would try to lip read and tell you what he was saying, but I just don't have the patience. Then it's around this time when Sue cracked out all the beverages, handing them forward like an air stewardess. Definitely first class service. As we got close to Leicester, I stopped filming using my phone as we started to see more aircraft. Leicester's Stallfest is very popular, meaning many people were flying in all at the same time. Myself, Sue and my dad were pointing out aircraft left and right, meaning it was very important to stay vigilant. It was also important for me and Sue to keep an eye out for aeroplanes so my dad could concentrate on flying. I know you can't hear it, but the radio was also becoming very, very busy. However, there is a bonus to seeing so many aircraft as it suggests the day is going to be a great one.
Once we landed, the first things we went to look at were the military vehicles. Now I'm just going to pause here and explain that I have attempted to identify the Willys Jeeps using their bumper codes, but if I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments. So for this first one, the code on the left hand side suggests it was part of the 82 Airborne Division 504th Infantry Regiment, also originally known as the Parachute Infantry Regiment. Then on the right hand side, it shows that it was the 16th vehicle within B Company. The one next to it was exactly the same, but was the 9th vehicle within B Company. Other things you may notice on the vehicles are the long digit codes on the side, for example, like this one. This was a way to categorise US military vehicles while in the UK. Codes that began with 20 meant the vehicle was a car or a jeep, tanks were coded with 30, and large trucks or more tracked vehicles were coded as 40. Additionally, some codes end with the letter S showing it is fitted with a radio suppression equipment system. On some vehicles, you will also see a yellow circular disc, also known as a bridge plate, which shows the weight of the vehicle. Okay, so now I can kind of identify a vehicle, it's best that I give an example. So for this truck, we know it's a truck because the reg number starts with a 41. It has an S on the end, meaning it has a radio suppression system. According to the yellow disc, it weighs around 9 tonnes and any potential trailer it tows would be 7 tonnes. Then we can also see on the bumper plate it is part of the 82nd Airborne Division, 505th Infantry Regiment and it is the 10th vehicle in the service company. Wow, that really was a lot of talking about military vehicles on an aeroplane channel. Who would have thought that? And I was the one narrating it and I didn't expect it. Anyhow, I hope you learned something because I certainly did when I researched it, but I'll get back to the aeroplanes now. Once we'd seen all the military setup, we saw the aeroplanes. I definitely liked the yellow of this Booker Youngman. Of course, I had to film Greta, another Booker Youngman, giving her the screen time she deserves. However, I may be slightly biased because I know the owners. After Greta, I had a look at this Stearman, then what most people will have seen in the thumbnail, this Spitfire. I am contemplating making a separate video of its startup and takeoff, I guess we'll just have to see, as a lady stood right in front of me as it took off, so I'm unsure how the video will turn out. I then looked at the Broussard, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and went for some lunch. They had two lovely ladies making a barbecue for all the guests, I had a burger with onions and salad, which just hit the spot. Leicester Flying School also had a stall, obviously it's their airfield and it was a good time to recruit students. Overall, the day was amazing. As you can see, there are lots of aeroplanes that flew in, but unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to look around them all. Oh well, there's always next time, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!